walking through the trench here on my segmental retaining wall project. I have great sandy soil. This is not indicative of what we have in North America. Our predominant soil type is a clay type soil. So typically we have to amend that soil to get it to the density that we want to achieve. We want to first try to compact it. If that's not working, our first step would be a chemical amendment such as a lime. Using a lime chemically changes the composition of that clay soil. I don't need to till it into the soil. I'm just going to rake that into the surface. That's going to change the chemical composition, releasing the water from that clay particle and getting it to a level of density. If that's not working, I have another chemical amendment I can add. It's a type S mortar mix. This is a high lime content Portland mix. I don't want to use straight Portland. Straight Portland will crack during the freeze thaw cycles and not be able to retake its original shape. So I'm going to put down this type S, rake that into the subgrade, and I can see it starting that wicking process and changing the chemical composition. Give that a little time to work using about a 50 pound bag per 100 square foot of trench area to get to my density. If I still feel I don't have the amendments that I need to increase its bearing ability, my next step will be a clean 57 stone, a three quarter inch angular particle which will change the gradation of that clay. I'll spread that over the subgrade, I'll rake that in in conjunction with a type S, and I'll run my compactor over that area, changing its chemistry and its gradation. I have the opportunity to use a 2940 crusher run type material. I don't like this because it has a high percentage of these fines in a clay soil. I have those fines there already. Not my favorite. Here's what I'd prefer.